What's going on friends and family? It's Sam coming at you live and welcome to my studio. Here is what we'll be painting today. I taught this before in a live painting class, but I didn't teach. I usually teach a Monday and a Friday, but I didn't teach a Friday. So a lot of people didn't get to take this class. So I thought, why not make this the first class that we do online on YouTube? So yeah, this is going to be a full time. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Natalie. And today I will be your instructor. And here are some supplies you're going to be needing. Um, you don't have to use you don't have to use the same exact supplies I have, just whatever you gotta lay around the house, but there is one color that you probably will need, and that is the main star of the show is magenta. You can get that in basics, they have it in every kind of brand of paint that you can find at your local store. You're gonna need white for sure, and this is Grumbacher brand. Um Thalo Blue. Cadmium Yellow Medium, Grumbacher Red. The brushes that we're using today are a flat brush. That's a one inch. This is a small flat brush. And we'll probably be using a round and a liner brush. Just four brushes. And so I got my shop towel here. And we got my palette paper. I just got it taped so I can show you guys what I'm doing. And we got our uh, letter by 14 canvas here. So I got my water cup here. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put some paint on my palette here. Magenta. It's gonna be very important. You can't just get that color from red. Grumbacher red. Put that there. Got yellow. So these are second grade paints. So what that means is that they're a little thicker than student grade. Student grade, it has more water added to it and less pigment. And these, with these paints is that they have more pigment and less water added to it. So that means that you get more paint for your buck. You can get more of a texture with these paints or you can just add more water and make thinner paint and it just takes less paint. We're gonna open up in prayer and then we're gonna jump into this painting, okay? So, Father, I just thank you, God, for every person that is watching this video on YouTube and I just ask you, God, just to pour out your love upon them, God, and your, your peace that passes all understanding and let them know who you are, Jesus, personally and just show them your love and show them your mercy and your grace and your peace and your blessings in Jesus name I pray so therefore let's get jump into this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab pure phthalo blue just gonna grab that get some paint anytime I'm pulling paint I'm pulling it from the side cuz if I have different colors on here I don't want to contaminate everything that I have going on I want to pull it from the side so let's just throw that on there. We want to make this a thin coat. I'm going to throw some water on there because this is heavy paint. This is thick paint. So I'm just going to throw some water on there. Just want to spread this out. We're going to paint the whole entire canvas this color. We want a thin coat of this phthalo blue because we want to make this part lighter than this area over here. So if you want a reference photo, um, if you want a reference photo, I will put the link to the original painting. I'm not the original artist that painted this, um, but I'll put the link, I found it on Pinterest, so I'll put the link in the description if you want to see the original photo and have a reference of where we're going. So I did simplify this painting just a tad. So if you go on there and you see the original photo, it is simplified just a bit because I really believe that beginners, like if, if this is your first painting ever um, or you know, whatever, if this is your first painting ever, you haven't painted that much, you don't have that much experience or confidence. I just really want to show people that they can paint 
good, you know, for their first time. They don't have to be scared of the paint. The, scared, the paint has to be scared of them. Uh, this is what I like to say. And, you know, that it can really, you know, you can really produce something good um, just with good instruction. So hopefully I can deliver that for you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this whole entire thing. Just keep, I keep on dipping my brush in just a tad bit of water. You can probably, uh, if you're using different paints, you could probably just gauge it. If the paint is already pretty watery and it's easy to, you know, spread, then awesome. We're gonna paint this whole entire canvas phthalo blue. Just, you know, we almost want it to be a very, very light. We don't want this to be super thick, okay? That's what we don't want. We want this to be a pretty thin layer because we're gonna add more phthalo blue once this dries. So I'm tired of seeing people baby, you know, people babying, you know, beginners. You know, obviously you, you can't have like super high expectations. I mean, you can, but you know, obviously you can, you know, just have a good mindset towards it. That's what I like to, you know, just have a positive mindset. Just go in and saying, you know what? I'm not gonna be scared of this pain. I'm just gonna go ahead and try my best. And even if it doesn't come out as good as mine or, you know, or the reference photo, or even if it comes out better, you know, just have a positive attitude. Um, and in my painting classes, I've been teaching painting classes for about a year in person, and what I've learned is that a lot of people have never painted before, and a lot of people are open to try it, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, because I get to show them that they can make something awesome even if they're not an artist. Um, but if you don't like it today, you'll probably like it better tomorrow. So we're going to let that dry. And now that it's dry to the touch, I'm just going to go ahead and go in back in with the baby blue. And this time I'm not going to add much water. I just kind of want it, you know, if it's not flowing, obviously you probably need a touch. You know, we just want to, that paint to flow for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put it a touch thicker than the previous layer. Now, if it's lifting, you probably need to let it dry and leave it alone, okay? Don't keep messing with it because it's just going to keep lifting areas, okay? So don't keep, you know, messing with it if it's lifting. Kind of just get in and get out kind of thing. So we're going to bring this over. So we're going to put this like a quarter of the way over. And we're going to put it a little bit on this edge over here. Just add more. We just want the appearance of this being darker. You're kind of reeling your eye in. It's a very pretty effect. I really like it. So all I'm doing is when I get to like this area and it's coming to like blending the two blues together, I'm just putting less paint and less pressure and just kind of letting my brush do the talking. It's like look, we're gonna we're gonna blend together, okay? Is that cool? And then the other paint's like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm just adding lighter pressure and less paint. Just kind of. Yeah, that's pretty. Just one dark over here. So that's pretty, I like that. So now, 
Now that we did that, all right, you know what? I'm gonna add some more on this corner, just this corner, just a touch on this edge over here. Kind of break that line up a little bit. It'll just look like a hard line. All right, cool. That's pretty. I like it. So now um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my brush into the water, kind of swirling it around. Clean it off on my paper towel here, my shop towel. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some uh, some bubbles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get pure white, just grabbing some, I'm gonna make a separate pile here. And I'm gonna go into my water cup. I'm gonna go into my water cup, dip my brush into my water cup. Remember that pile we made of white? It's gonna be hard to show you because it's milky, but we want a milky consistency. Some milky consistency of our paint. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our painting and go like this with our brush, okay? So we're gonna pull our fingers through it. I know this is messy. Hopefully you guys didn't recently get a pedicure or a manicure. I don't know. So what we're doing is we're creating the stars. Really easy, we don't even have to work that hard as Bob likes to say, shh, don't tell nobody. People are gonna think we've been painting, well, we've been think working on this painting for weeks. So make sure you don't spray your whole entire house with white speckles. Hopefully your room is, or wherever you're painting is already white on the walls. Careful. See how I'm kind of like, wherever I want to go, I'm just kind of manipulating my brush with my hand movements wherever I don't want the paintbrush to go. But sometimes it wants to be a rebel and escape. So, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, I like it already. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda clean off my brush, my paper towel here. All right, so now, now we're gonna move to the small round brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you know get my brush and then wet it off on the paper towel. So I'm gonna grab white and a touch of that blue. We just want a baby baby blue. Baby baby blue. Like that. We just want to appear lighter than this for sure. That's pretty light. That's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a little um so I my brush is my my brush is pretty watery. My um my brush is pretty watery, but what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our finger and we're going to smooth out those edges. See that? See, I'm smoothing out the edges. I'm just kind of putting wet paint on there with my brush really quickly because I have to move quick for that because acrylic paint tends to dry really, really quickly. Just kind of want... We want this to blend in with their background so we don't want... We want to smooth out those edges. We don't want no hard lines. So how do you do that? Well, you get this blue, right when you apply the paint, you move in with your finger and just smooth it out. If it's drying, it's as fast as you putting it on there, add more water. Add more water to it. Alright, 
That's cute. So the next step, we're gonna make a blue slightly lighter than what we just did. So even lighter. I'm using the same brush, the same round brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that paint in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the the top of the jellyfish. So it's like almost like a mushroom head. So we're gonna go right about here. Mushroom, keeping that mushroom shape in mind. If your brush is not flowing, make sure you put water. Water is your friend with this paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and remember that technique we used for this up here? I'm going to do the same thing but only pulling down into the jellyfish. That same color, same brush, all I'm doing is pulling the edges down. So it's not such a hard line. See that? Go a little bit over here on this side. Awesome. Size as well. It's a touch. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, awesome. All right. So now that we got the head of the jellyfish, you can always look. Like if you mess up and you want to, like you know what, I want to fix this. Like me, I want to fix this. I want this to go up more, a little higher. To have more of like that shape. And you just blend it in. You can always fix your mistakes. Look, I want to fix this. Check this out. See? Easy fix. Easy fix. It's just paint. Awesome. All right. So now that we did that, let's just go ahead and I'm gonna clean off that brush. I'm gonna, you can stay with that brush or you can move to your small flat. I'm gonna grab pure white. And now we're going to be drawing our little, I don't know what they're called, little, um, little things. I don't know what they're called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, you see where this white is? I'm going to go up. And remember how we blended it with our finger? This is very important. Remember how we blended the top? We want to blend this top here. So it blends in. It looks like the rest of the team. So we're just going to blend that. Awesome. So if you're using this Academy paint, it is very thick. So you have to accommodate for that. Add more water. Should we blend this out? Make it thinner as we go. So what I'm doing give it a little shape there. 
somebody. So what I'm doing is, um, I like to use this flat brush to load it with paint. You know, not like a bunch of paint, but what I like to do is I like to sharpen my paint. So I like to make a, a separate pile and I like to go back and forth and you see that sharp edge it gives me? Then I use that sharp edge like a pencil and I go in and I use it like a pencil. If you're not comfortable with that, you know, go ahead and try it out before, you know, you go into your painting. But try it out. So we're just We make them, we want them to kind of taper out as we go. And it's just to kind of thin out as it goes lower and lower. Also use a small flat brush as well. You can also use a round brush, whatever brush you're comfortable with. This is just what I like using. Gets the job done quicker. I like to call it my gun. Gets the job done quick. The crossing one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to blend this in my previous one over here. Remember, you want this top to be fuzzy. So I'm just going in right immediately after I put paint. I'm going in with my finger and just blending that. Blend it out. Blend it out. Awesome. All right. So... Alright, so while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and clean this brush off. And I'm going to go and use my small liner brush. My small liner brush. I'm just going to go ahead and dip that in my water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab white and yellow. Got some more water with that paint. It's not flowing. We want this to be pretty watery. Remember that milky texture that we made for the spring, the stars? We want it a little less, but we want it flowy enough where we can get these long lines. Watch, I'm gonna show you. Check this out, ready? I'll touch more water to that. Pretty watery consistency here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, make these lines. You can always practice on the back of your canvas. I always encourage people, you can practice before you commit to these lines. Just going out like that.
Awesome. Alright, so while that's while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get my my round brush. And we're gonna let that dry. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get my round brush and I'm gonna get pure white. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dot bigger dots than my stars. You don't have to do this, but I want some bigger dots. Just using the tip of my brush. Lighting up my pressure so they don't look the same and varying up the sizes. Like I want a lot here. And then lightening up my pressure around it. Yeah, where And I'm gonna go ahead, and I see that this lightened up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just go back in with that same color. Oh, that's a little too white. Get more blue. Just, oh, more water, it's drying up on me. You gotta move quick, add more water. Add more paint. Bring that down. You don't have to do this if you already like yours. I just wanted to fix mine a little more. And if you messed up and you added too much white, then always go back in with that blue. Can you see that? See how it just kind of blends in? Just go ahead and grab that blue and put it on top and just blend it with your finger. It looks good now. Happy with that. Getting happier. More add that. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Now all right, now I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm not going to touch it anymore. All right, so we're going to clean off our brushes. Make sure this is dry to the touch. Okay, that's dry. Okay, so what that means is that now we're going to go in. All right, now watch me, okay? Don't freak out. I'm going to go in with my flat brush. Is we're gonna get white, that flat, small flat brush, it's pure white. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right on today, right? And then I'm gonna grab, you have to kind of do this step quickly because it wants to dry very quick. So I'm gonna get uh, some white and some yellow, like the same color as this. And then we're gonna go kind of like, in a circle. So this is drying very quickly, so I have to move quick. So, and then light touch as I go into the white. It's okay if you, you know, contaminate that white. And then I'm going to clean off my brush on my shop towel. I'm going to get just pure yellow. And now I'm going to go into just pure yellow and just move around to that color. And then you can even use your finger to kind of blend it lightly. All right, so now that we did yellow, now I'm going to go into red. Now I'm going to go into red and yellow and make an orange. So now we're going to go into that. Just blend it out nicely. Bring that up a little bit. Pretty. Alright, so now I'm going to go into that pure 
red. I just wiped off my brush and I just went into pure red. And I'm just going to put a touch of that pure red. It's so strong. Yeah, so I'm going to go back into that orange to just kind of tone it down. Shh. Calm down, guy. Not that serious. All right. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to clean off my brush, my paper towel, and I'm going to go into magenta. Just straight magenta. And now we're going to go in and clean up that red. Going into these colors, I'm barely, you know, chasing the canvas, barely. So now, this is a different kind of paint. So this is kind of more flowy. So now that we're gonna, we're just gonna go over that white. Good news is that if you go out of the lines, it's not that big of a deal because this magenta kind of wants to blend in with that blue. So it kind of works out if you mess up. It's very pretty scene. Makes me... You know what I did is... um. You know, whenever I paint something like this, it's always like, wow, this is so pretty. Like now it kind of makes you like want to go like see jellyfish or something like that. I don't know. Makes you want to go explore. And um, so what I did was, so what I did was is I, um, I always wanted to live by the beach. I always wanted to be, you know, that, you know, beach surfer girl. And so what I did was, you know, I live in the middle, or I used to live in the middle of the desert, you know. And I was like, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a mural in my room. So a mural is like just a huge painting on a wall. So I'm going to paint a mural in my room, and it's going to be the beach. So at least that, you know, I can't obviously go surfing in that beach because it's a mural. But at least I can live by the beach, you know, bring the beach to me. So that's what I did. Made, you know, made the best of my world. And I did something that I love doing. And now that's back at my mom's place, now she has murals in her house. I painted murals all in my room. It's everywhere. Maybe I'll put an insert a video here for you guys to see my room. My old room. But yeah, now this is my new office, and you know, I got married, and now this is my new office. It's cool, because now I have a room, a separate room, you know, and now I have an office. So that's, like, really cool. Usually, like, you know, it was my, my room and my office, and everything was all in one. So now I have, like, a room to kind of create and, you know, not sleep in the same room. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm just going in, going all those lines. Pretty. All right, so I'm gonna clean off my brush there. I kind of lifted some paint there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in and revive it. But you have to be very careful when you do this. So watch, I'm gonna go into pure yellow, pure yellow. Just nice and slow. Kind of work my way down again. Get that orange. It's kind of lifting right there, so I'm just gonna have to leave it alone. It's fine. Awesome. So now we need to let this dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my brush. 
wipe it off with my paper towel here. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get going with my small round. And I'm gonna get pure white. And I'm just rolling that paint in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, once again, go in. Just the top of that jellyfish. Yeah, that's fine. That's enough. Okay. And then I'm going to get more of that pure white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add these little dots. Make it look like a round object. Like a three-dimensional object here, these small details. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few of these. So this is dry now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip my brush in water and get white, pure white, pure white, and I'm gonna get pure white and a touch of that blue. And what I'm going to do is this is where everything starts coming to life now. So now I'm going to just add that line. Make sure your painting is dry when you do this. And I'm just going to make a line all the way across. Emphasize that again. Awesome. So now that we did that, I'm going to get that same color and I'm going to make these lines here going up. Like give it that little cage. So now I'm going to grab the same brush, the touch of that magenta, clean off my brush, just on my paper towel, and wiped it off. Just go ahead and put little hints of that magenta. It's like reflecting off that jellyfish. Little indications of that. Now I'm not covering up the whole thing. I cover up all your work. Just putting little hints around. Now that this is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and you know now that I ha I still have magenta on my brush, but I had a little bit of blue on it, so I'm gonna just go ahead and clean off my brush. Wipe my brush with my paper towel. I'm gonna get magenta and white so what I'm going to do so I'm just going to kind of highlight some of these areas here I need to make it a touch more lighter just added more white to it Some highlights. Put some highlights on there. I'm doing this all with my small round brush. This one appear like it's on top of it. See, 
I'll make this one on top of this one, like that. Just emphasizing those little details make a big difference. And then as we go into here, just go ahead and add a few more lines. I don't know why I'm whispering. Awesome. Pretty. And I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna get some orange. Make orange, get red and yellow. And I'm just gonna kind of like you know, break this up and put some lines in there. This orange, just kind of all rising. I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna go into that yellow and white again. Get a touch of more water and add some more leaves inside of here. Just do it. Touch more. Not too much. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush on my paper towel. I'm just gonna get pure orange or pure, I'm gonna get pure yellow. I'm just gonna do the tips of these. Let's see. If you want it like a brighter yellow, you can like put white on it first and then go on there. So I'm gonna get Pure yellow on the tips. I don't know if that improved it or not. Kind of give it a little extra oomph. All right, so let's clean up our brush. I'm gonna get pure white again, and we're gonna emphasize some of these lines here on the little cage area. Just a touch here, touch there, touch there. You know, going back in those same dots we had, just kind of emphasizing them. Give it a little touch on the little lines we did. that yellow. Let me fix this part. My yellow went a little bit into there. There we go. Perfect. So we're gonna call this one done. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my small round, I'm gonna grab my small round brush and get baby blue. Maybe like that color. Pick a side. What do you mean? Yes. Perfect. So yeah, I hope you guys like that little painting tutorial in real time and hopefully I can hear you guys' feedback. If you guys try this painting out yourself and you post it on Instagram or Facebook, you can just tag me, Natalie Paints hashtag, or you can you know actually tag me under Natalie Paints on all platforms. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm gonna be definitely posting more in real time painting videos on YouTube so you guys can follow along with me. And yeah, so once again, guys, hope you guys like this. And if you guys have any ideas, just put them in the comments below of what I 
you know can paint next because this was a suggestion painting since i didn't get to paint it twice like i usually do in person um because it's all about painting even my shirt says work hard paint harder than the paints all right guys i'll see you on the next one peace